this virus can be changed, but when you change it, because it's a virus, it interacts with the skin, it touches the memory, and in with it, it brings all sorts of other side effects we see in the later life, is to handle it by changing the environment by magnesium oxide. Is not connected to tissue muscle. It's connected to the environment, so it needs separation from physicality, which is attached itself to inside or under skin. And it needs a zinc oxide, because it's come through the emotion line, and it needs a CO2. So, you have to change the environment, to be it on the skin, be it inside, be it in any shape or form, you have to change the environment, it's a virus, so you have to deplete its energy, that it becomes amino acid, and amino acid leaves the body of the man. We see the same process with HIV. It's the process we have, we have to understand the connections. The word is there, is a virus. The second word tells you is where it connects itself, which is lips. Why lips? Why the skin? Because skin is part of your emotion. It's connected to your brain, it's part of the structure of it. It's connected to your lung, which is the way you feed your emotion through the energy you absorb from the gaseous part. So, this, um, this uh, problem is solvable, it can be done, but you have to handle it in all four aspects of it. It's physicality, it's emotion, connection to neurosystem and is environment. So, you need a zinc oxide, you need a <clears throat> magnesium oxide, you need to overcome, or what we call to disinfect, for the external use, not for inhaling, copper oxide. That whatever is depleted from energy, in conversion to be an amino acid, you clean it or you change the energy that stays and is not there to support another life, another cycle. For herpes, that's the only solution we see.